Hey guys, Andy Goblin from Andy Goblin Fishing. Hey, thanks for tuning in. In today's video, I'm going to do a recap of the West Virginia Bass Federation Buddy Draw Tournament on the Mon River in uh, Fairmont, West Virginia. Uh, so I'm going to get right to it, show you a couple of baits that we caught fish on, how we caught them, and I'll show a couple of pictures. I don't have any fish catches on camera, but I can show a couple of pictures of some things that you know we did. Uh, so let's get right to it. Uh, the first thing that we did was we caught some fish on some topwater baits and then we raised a couple fish on a topwater bait that did not bite. But we had a little trick that we threw back in to catch them. Uh, what I did is I took a uh, basically a spinning rod, it's like a two or three aught round bin hook, no weight, and I take like a zoom finesse worm and just Texas rig it and throw it over to where the fish was at, work it a little bit and just let it sink straight down. Once it sinks, starts sinking straight down, you know, you'll see your line jump or that move or, you know, you're just reel up. It's a real light bite and know that the fish is there and then, then you catch him. Uh, you know, it's an easy way to catch fish when you throw back to it. A lot of guys use a, uh, a Senko to do it, which works well too. Uh, this Zoom trick worm just seems to work really well for me. Uh, like I said, we did catch a couple on top water and did raise a couple on top water that we flew back in and caught with that. Uh, the other fish that we caught, uh, Mark was throwing a, uh, just a shaky head behind me. This is just a eighth ounce shaky head. This is one of the uh, Berkeley Maxent uh, hit worms, I believe is what they call them. Yep, this is a uh, Berkeley Maxent hit worm. And we'd, uh, you know, we were working this on some of the deeper rock banks that we knew where we could catch maybe some bigger fish. We didn't catch a whole lot of fish in this tournament, but we did end up coming in fourth place. Uh, got a check. The biggest thing was is we fished for what we thought where a bigger fish would be. We knew we probably wouldn't get as many bites as some of the other guys, but we thought we might get some bigger fish. Uh, we weighed in a couple smallmouth and uh, uh, three largemouth. Uh, two of the largemouth we had were, you know, were, were good fish. One was caught on the uh, trick worm that I'd raised up on a top water. The other one was caught on the shaky head. The smallmouth we just was basically to fill our limit. And we caught that, uh, we caught them basically. I caught one of them on a topwater plug. And the uh, other fish that I caught was uh, on a Jewel Peewee Finesse football head in a 316th ounce. And we'll show you how I rigged that. Uh, I did fish it, uh, you know, on a spinning rod. Uh, and I, I used a crawl trailer. Now this is a uh, zoom little critter crawl. And what I do to the critter crawl is like a lot of guys, I. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll clip the legs off of it. And of course I take the tentacles off of it. And then I just measure to how long I want it. So I want this bait basically to come out right there. So to me, I'm going to cut one, two, three, four sections of it off. One, two, three, four make my cut there and now I have just a little tidbit of a crawl not very much at all and then of course you just you straighten out your your jig like I say I was dragging this on a spinning rod uh, you know with a uh, 10 pound fluorocarbon leader and I was fishing this on some of the deeper rock banks where I knew a lot of times is where we catch a lot of our bigger fish so when you do this you have just a, it's just a small jig. I mean, there's not much to it. Uh, as you can see, I rigged a crawl straight and just a small jig. But anyway, this is what we've done to, uh, to catch a fish in that tournament. And uh, until next time, guys, hey, good fishing. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, if you do me a favor, please smash that uh, subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks.